this represents just one single key. This is the main key over here. We don't see all of this portion. We just see this portion, uh, which is the portion that's covered in white. My hand would be over here depressing the keys. So what happens is when I push the key, the hammer basically hits the string and the damper is also raised from the string. The string vibrates and the piano makes a sound. So the key is connected to the key frame or the key bed with two points. This is the key front and the front rail pin down here. And this is the balance rail, the balance rail pin. So the whole balance rail acts as a seesaw for the key. Over here on the left hand side, we have the damper structure. So when all of this is happening, the damper also starts being raised and the damper head through the damper wire also gets raised. So when I press a key, the capstan screw raises the action, the jack pushes the knuckle up, and this in turn raises the hammer shank and the hammer. While that's happening, the damper is up and then the hammer hits the string. The key is resting, as you can see, the hammer is very low. But when I press a key, the hammer is stopped by the back check and the jack is stopped by the let off button. This happens because if you want to press a note repeatedly very fast, this makes sure that the hammer doesn't go down all the way because then it would have a longer distance to cover. So there you go. That's how a piano works. And there are 88 of these things in the piano.